Hello, today I'm going to be talking about decision making skills, why they are so important in life and how to develop them. Everyone has to make hundreds if not thousands of decisions a day, but how do you know if you're making the right decisions? The simple answer is that often you can't know for sure until you see the results of those decisions. Because of this uncertainty, sometimes people can have real difficulty in making decisions. They may spend too much time weighing up pros and cons and worrying about what will happen if they make the wrong decision. Or they may make decisions without any thought at all. Or sometimes people try to avoid making decisions altogether and wait until the situation forces them into doing something. None of these options tend to work very well. Clearly, you need to be able to make good decisions about things which affect your own life. For example, which subjects to study or which job to take. But decision making is also a key skill in the workplace. Leaders need to be able to make good decisions for their teams. But it is also often necessary to make good decisions together with other members of a team. If you don't have a clear understanding of how to make a good decision, you are likely to end up choosing an option simply because you're all fed up with arguing or because one person pushes their idea harder. These obviously aren't the best ways to come to a conclusion. So, what exactly is involved in making a good decision and how can you get better at it? Firstly, you need to make sure that you have all the information you need to make a good decision. For example, if you are choosing a university, you probably need to find out about exam results for the subject you want to take and the results of student satisfaction surveys, as well as campus facilities. Listen to other people's opinions. You don't have to take their advice, but it is always good to get a range of views first. Make sure you are clear about what is most important to you. The better you understand yourself, your values, and what makes you happy, the more likely you are to make a decision which will really suit you. Use what you have learned from experience but don't assume that because something went badly once, this will always be the case. In fact, try not to assume anything. Always evaluate all the information critically and without too much emotion first. Then you can see what your gut instinct is telling you. Remember that no decision is likely to be perfect. You have to decide what is most important to you and be willing to compromise if necessary. Sometime after you have made big decisions, look back and see whether you now think you made the right choice. If so, what helped you to make a good choice? If it turned out not to be a good decision, consider what you can learn from the experience. And good luck in making some great decisions. <laughs>